welcome today we're gonna be using Forno de Pizza by HPC Fire we're gonna be making Chicago style deep dish pizza so we're gonna be making the Chicago style deep dish pizza I have here a dough ready and I also have some garlic first what we're gonna do is after I've actually done some of the sausage in the oven I saved some of the grease so I would not be re-greasing the pan I'll be just using this grease from the sausage and this garlic I'm just going to rub it on the pan and what I, the reason for this is I'm trying to infuse I'm trying to infuse some of that garlic um, right to the um, to the pan and the oil so now I have made this dough and this dough is a combination of um, regular flour, cornmeal, um, and uh, I rolled it out. So we got some mozzarella slices over here. And then we got some of these awesome thin sliced salami. So one side we're going to do the, the salami. And now we're going to put some of this uh, um, sausage right on the side and I think that's probably good enough save this for tomorrow morning yeah, we're gonna put a little garlic right inside of there just like that and some salt uh, maybe a little bit more and then some agave that's just to take off the little bit of that bite from the acidity of the tomato. A little bit of Italian seasoning. And we have some onions here. We're gonna actually mix this in here, right in the can. Oh yeah, look at that, those whole tomatoes on there. We're gonna break them up just a tiny little bit in here. We got everything kind of covered. We're gonna throw some onions in there. I don't think I'm gonna use all of it. We got some Parmesan cheese. We gotta put it right on top of here. And now we're gonna bake this for about 425 to 450 degrees in the oven. So like I said, I'm gonna just break some of this off right here. What I have is I got flames on the left side, on the back, and on the right. So I'm going to dial this down just a tiny little bit. And the pizza's going in it right now. You're back. Let's take a look. It is about 28 minutes in there. Well, you can take a look at these little calzones. And they are cooking. We'll take a look at them in a little bit. looking good so this has been in there for about 28 minutes and look at that look at our chicago style pizza looking good beautiful all right we're going to take this over here we're going to le let it rest just for a little bit and then uh and then we're going to put a little basil on there I have made some gluten-free cheese balls, also known as pão de queijo from Brazil. So these are done. We are gonna actually wait. They need to be about 350 degrees in the oven in order for us to put those in. So we're gonna wait just a little bit down so the oven can cool down and then we'll go from there. So we have some residual heat. So we're done cooking, but the oven's still warm. So why? not use it and continue to use it for other things so i have here those beautiful cheese balls and i'm going to put those in the oven and we're going to make them i'm just going to put some fresh beans around it here and now good old olive oil 